You testified that asylum seekers are not being turned away at the ports of entry. Was that your testimony here today? They are not turned away. They are brought in. I'm not sure if you're talking about the migrant protection protocol, but in that case, any asylum seeker who comes to a port of entry, you you basically are allowed have to just make said, their claim. Okay. Well, let me tell you, Madam Secretary, either you're lying to this committee or you don't know what's happening at the border. And I have been there firsthand, and I have seen it twice. Congresswoman Annette Barragan of California challenged Homeland Secretary, Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen today as Nielsen's testimony repeatedly clashed with the facts. And Congresswoman Barragan, a member of the Homeland Security Committee, joins me now, along with MSNBC correspondent Jacob Soboroff, who's been doing great reporting on the southern border. Congresswoman, let me start with you on that question. Um, is, the, is the Homeland Secretary, is it really her claim that people are not being turned away from asylum at ports of entry? That's what she's saying, and it's on the DHS website as a myth, which is why I pointed it out to her and why she had to be challenged. The American people should know what is happening. Which is what? Which is people who are going to the port of entry, which is what the president said people should be doing, are not being processed like they should be under U.S. law. Instead, they're being told away. This weekend I was there. I heard a gentleman being told, if you don't have a visa, go away. Um, the secretary also said that people were told about their rights, where they can go get an attorney, get some assistance, uh, where to get on a list. And that did not happen this weekend when I was there. And we have heard many, many reports of that not happening. Bottom line, Chris, is that people are presenting themselves at the ports of entry like they should be. It's legal to do so. They should be processed, and they're not being processed. Jacob, I want to ask you, because I think this relates to something that we're seeing now with new data from CBP. So apprehensions on the southern border since 2001, they've, they've declined fairly steadily. Um, and then we've seen this increase. And the new numbers out for January were enormous spike, according to CB, uh, CBP. Right. How do you make sense of those numbers? Well, we saw this at the end of President Obama's uh, term, too. The numbers did go up, um, I guess you could say substantially, but still within the context near historic lows. Right. Because President. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.